Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I just want to talk really quickly a little bit about using third-party APIs and I'm not really too well acquainted with um, many third-party Android APIs to be honest but uh, a couple of the ones that I am acquainted with one of them you deploy it just by linking a jar file with your application and another it seemed like you had to kind of set up some kind of link project or something and it's it's quite possible that there's uh, a lot of stuff that's a lot of gaps in my knowledge at this point and what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is a little bit that I do know which is how to use a third-party API in the form of a Java jar with Android which you can probably figure out for yourself if you've done much Java but just in case it's it's not clear I'll go through it here so I've created a little uh, demo API jar myself I created this project and I just put a class in it called text and it's got a static method called get which just returns this text hello there from the demo API and I created my own little API demo by just going to export on this project and exporting it as a jar file so hopefully if you're using a third-party API hopefully you can get a jar file from somewhere because using a jar file seems to me to be by far the easiest way of working with a third-party API and even if they give you the source or, or something dreadful like that hopefully you can compile it into a project and create your own jar file from it like this one so I've already created this API demo jar that contains my class which is in this package here and I'm going to go and go ahead and add that to this demo application that I've created I've got this application called demo and it's just I've just used all the default settings uh, except that I've given the I've given the text view a ID where are we so in layout here actually I've got it open here I've given it an ID of text and in my main activity I've got a handle to the text view and I've set the text on it to this demo thing here so it just looks like this and I just want to get some text from my so-called third-party API that I've just created and display it in this text field so I'll go to where I exported the jar to it's this API demo jar and I'll copy it and I'll go to Eclipse and I'll open this um, well I'll go to this libs folder here and libs is where you put your third-party API jars so I'll right click that and paste it in and if you copy it in on the disk into the actual folder using Windows Explorer or something like that and then don't forget to right click it and go to refresh afterwards because otherwise it won't appear in there and then I'll do what you normally do for a Java project I'll right click it and I'll go to I'll go to um, the working path thingamajig that my brain's temporarily frozen. Uh, oh yeah, so I'll go to I right click and go to build path and configure build path. And um, I've actually I've already added it in. Let me just delete that. So I'll go to add add jars. And if you expand your project and just browse to the libs folder, and then select it and click OK. So it should appear in this list here so you've got your jar file in the libs folder and you've got it in this libraries list in your java build path so I click OK and now we can go ahead and use that jar so I can use classes from that jar so in textview.setText now I'm going to say text which is the name of a class that I created in that jar file dot get and that returns some text and I'll add the import with Control shift o and we can see that it's found that class because I've got the right input here it's this is the class that I created and if it if you haven't successfully added the, the stuff in your jar API jar then it's possible that you might add the wrong input when you do control shift O then you'll get a strange error and you need to just check up here among the imports you might need to expand them and make sure that you've added the right import and you should be able to see the class that you've added if you go to reference libraries which is here and you, you should see your jar in there and you should be able to expand it and find even the class that you 
want to use. So if that's not in, if your jar file isn't in reference libraries, then there's something wrong. And now that I've done that, I can just click run and it's going to run on my phone and we're going to see text that's been retrieved from this very, very simple third party API that I just created. And that is the sum total of my knowledge about external APIs. Two, I think I've just worked with two actually, and they were both graphics libraries. One was, um, well, kind of animation libraries, and one was libgdx, which also supplies you a jar. And the other was and engine, which I just took a bit of a look at. And to set up and engine, you can create a jar ultimately, and though we've got the right text. And it seems like a good idea, but once once you start having to build your own jar and stuff like that, personally, I always feel uneasy because I start thinking, if this API was in any kind of a state such that it was fit to be used by other people, wouldn't they just build a jar automatically for you and let you download it? So as soon as you start building a jar, my, my interest personally wanes, but um, hopefully most third-party APIs will supply you with a jar that you can just link with your project. And if that's not the case in your experience, then do drop me a line and let me know and tell me what horrors you've encountered. And I can't promise, but I might look into it and try to understand what has to be done in other cases. So that's it for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.